for this video, we are going to be trying the same sequence seated and opening up the hips. This is great for anybody who needs a little bit more control. They don't have to worry about balancing. They aren't swinging from any of the plates or the belts up top. You're on the floor, you have a blanket underneath you for support. Um, if it's a hardwood floor underneath, it's definitely going to want to be a blanket rolled up a couple of times just so you have some cushion. It's easier to work with if you need to slide back um, to give the legs any more room away from the wall versus dealing with on a mat and it's you just have a little bit more flexibility as you do this. You also are going to want to block. We are using one bar as well as lining up with one column of plates that has a strap that we can reach for if we want it. Um, I will say if there's anybody who is tighter as you are working on this, if plate three is too much, you can bump this up to plate four and you can feel a big difference. We'll actually put one strap at both plates so you can see what I'm talking about. So starting out, because we're lined up with one column of plates, we're gonna slide the block. You may wanna use two blocks over to the left side to hold that left foot and the right foot gets to uh, hug in. Okay, so holding a foot to the block, that's gonna give you just a little bit more space to work with. You can grab your bar you could also grab a strap, either one. I like using the bar, Fold, uh, folding down. Doing this a few times just to loosen up the back. You can even hold on to a belt if you want to twist in one direction with this leg out in front. Switch hands, twist in the other direction. And then when we're ready, we sit up and we turn a little bit more out to the right and you can slide the block a little bit more centered. Now, as you can see, I'm at an angle. This is not a direct specific degree that I'm wanting to go for here. It's just the block making space between my foot and the wall. You have your belts or you have the bar. You're going to take this outside arm up and over, and then you can lean and reach. You can come up and out of it to back out. Maybe this time, as you reach up and over, you find that belt at plate four or plate three, and you can walk your hand down as you see fit. And then you can come up and let go, tip back one more time, release it, and then turn forward. Taking that right foot against the block, grab your bar, forward fold down. Breathing in and out of it. And then when you're ready, twist both directions. Keep breathing. Maybe take another forward fold. And then we start to move ourselves in the other direction. Same leg extending out. So either, either grabbing the belt or you can grab the bar. Up and over. Reaching and then coming up, reaching back. Coming up, grab the belts, anything that you can grip onto to hold on, walk your hands all the way up. And then you can release out of this. And then turn back forward, even feet together, knees wide, Grabbing the bar, take a nice bow. And then when you're ready, 
come up and that is using the bar at plate two all the way across. That's another option for great hip openers.